Hello! Welcome everyone to Production Line. I'm Captain Snaggles and today we're gonna play a new game. We're gonna have a wonderful time. Um, I think we're gonna start... Do I want a uh, free play? No, we're gonna do a sandbox game. We're gonna start in the giant factory. And we're gonna play against AI competition. We're gonna have a lot of starting cash, a lot of room to expand. So what this means is we'll hopefully get a good set going and I'll explain some of the concepts of the game, how it plays. You'll be able to figure out some wonderful things about this game. So the first thing we want to do is pause and set up our car industry. So we're going to choose, oh, what's a good, that, that'll be good one, we'll call it, um, pause attack, we'll call it, uh, Snaggles Auto Industries, works fine for me. So the first thing we need to do is design our first car. This is our factory floor. Each of these green things represents an input. So that's where we get our parts and these blue areas represent exports. So the first thing we want to do is, no, that's the wrong button, <laughs> is go to the slots. Yeah, go to slots and we're going to build a very quick, quick and dirty car manufacturer. So we're going to start with the export. Um, we're going to start, we don't have an, we can do visual inspection or the whole quality check. So we're going to do a, just a whole quality check on here. And we're going to make, give it a gap space. We have time. If we need to expand. We can expand linearly later. So quality check takes five minutes. Export takes four minutes. So we want to make sure to be at about a four or five minute um, release time. So since fit accessories takes 14, we're going to want basically to be able to have this here, I think. We can do it here. We have time for things to come out and come back again. Um, we'll do it one back. This will make sense at some point later why we're doing that. Um, but the important thing is fit accessories. We need to it'll take 15 minutes. Fit engine will put, we can't, we really want to block the resource importer so we're gonna put the first fit engine there try to move this I don't think we can move it I've delete and redo it um we're gonna put our first paint booth here and then our fit body booth here our chassis assembly goes here and then we need a conveyor to tie it all together so just run the conveyor for now straight across we'll eventually change how we do this that and then this will run pretty much like that to paint and then or to quality check quality check out so we have a full production run we can make cars here if we need to uh, we need resources for the whole shebang so we're gonna run an importer from here and then run the resource conveyor pretty much linearly what I want to do is run it um, to here and then, as possible, run it off of there, and then like that. Then we'll have this run across, and that run across. I don't know, we didn't really need that to run across there, but we'll use it for later. So this is our resources import. We're currently producing a sedan, and that's all we can produce. Um, and then we're going to need a research office so we can research new techs. I forgot how to rotate. Middle mouse rotates. I'm gonna build, how much money do we have? We have plenty of money. Build four, let's do three research offices that we'll select our first research, which we'll want uh, specializations or not. Cars sold 10. Well, we need to sell 10 cars first before we research anything. So we'll research power production. That's the most important thing to research. And then we'll unpause. And so you see everything is insufficient resources. So what's happening now is the resource orders are going out. And all of these areas, like fit accessories, will take resources. Fit engine, paint, fit body, and chassis assemble. What you'll notice is that we're going to start to see backups in places. So currently, there are insufficient resources, so we haven't started producing yet, which is fine. This is just, you know, this is the first run of the first car. We have no car stock. This shows the market. 
Total market share of sedans is 12%. Um, we have 60 customers visit the showroom per hour. There's no competitiveness in the market. You know, no one has produced cars yet. And our perceived quality is 100%, which is good. So we're currently starting by building our first sedan. And perceived quality will be maintained by having a quality assurance department. So as you can see, these robots are putting the sedan together. If they click, we can see they're currently fitting the fuel tank. Once the fuel tank's on, the sedan will move. They'll start working the next one. This will move automatically to the fit body. We click, select fit body, so we'll put the body shell on. And once they're done, you'll see the body shell have been put on to the automobile. There we go. And now they'll fit the hood on. And it shows the total time and the task time here. Now they're gonna put the trunk on. You'll see them build the car, you know, as they build it. And now they're gonna put some front bumper on. And the red highlighted are things that they're demanding. As they're using them, they're grabbing new ones. So put the rear bumper, and then they're gonna put the bottom trim, and then they're gonna put the top trim. Now this chassis over here is waiting. So you can see we already have a disparity in efficiency. So this is not producing fast enough for the chassis. We're producing chassis faster than we can fit the body. So the obvious thing would be to build a second fit body station. So that's what we're gonna do, is we're gonna build a second fit body station. So we're gonna go back to plots. Fit body says so 30 minutes per chassis symbol is 12 minutes. So we put another fit body on here, put it there. We're going to add this conveyor, it's basically gonna come out here and then down there. And this guy's gonna come out and return to the main push there. There we go. I really just want this to come that way right eventually eventually i'll redo how all these conveyor belts are but currently as you can see this is what we're gonna so we need to um need a new rate resource conveyor this is just gonna run to there and that'll pull more resources from the same importer looks good right so now we've got a car in paint and painting takes 30 minutes as well. So, you know, since painting takes 30 minutes, we know this takes 30 minutes. Let's add another paint booth because that'll double our efficiency. And so this now runs the conveyor sock. The sock pile conveyor now goes through there. So all we need is a conveyor belt. This will go in there. And if we want... Gonna, I want to like... So currently these guys can go there or they can go over here. I want them to all connect the same, like, conveyor belt system. But I think for now, we're doing okay. I'll redo that if I need it. So right now, these guys can go to there or there, and these guys can only go to there. So I should have a way to be able to distribute them to every paint thing. So what we can do is distribute them to every paint thing by redoing our conveyor belt. Um, where's my bulldoze? Demolish tool. And then we'll go conveyor and we go boop, doop, doop. You go there and you'll go out and come around. Nope. Let's quickly demolish some stuff again. I know this conveyor belt system is really, and we'll do that. And now you can be distributed to either paint section. So as that one's being used, it will go to this paint booth instead. Boom, it makes sense. Um, this paint booth will need the conveyor out, so it'll go to here. This will make a lot of sense. I really don't need this like loop out here, but I guess it works. So this is a 22 minute process. We can probably fit different engine on here. So currently every 12 minutes, this comes out and then it's you know, 15 minutes, 15 minutes, and this is our current bottleneck. So what we could do is have a second engine fit and have the same fit accessories and our bottleneck would be really well reduced. So we're gonna add another fit engine on here. Just like we did before, resource conveyor, this thing over there. And then have this conveyor belt come out and in and this, 
join that right there. And it should theoretically work perfectly. This is an extra inefficiency I built in that I didn't need to build in, so as this thing car goes away, we'll demolish that and we'll go to our conveyor and we'll actually scale it there. On and off. Ba Boom! Easy. And now we get to wash the cars. Next slot requirement not met. Fit accessories. What do you need to do? Um. Oh, I forgot to fit electronics on here. Okay. Well, that's easy. We'll just do that. We'll go fit a like move quality check to there. Fit electronics there. We conveyor belt this to there. And then we need a resource conveyor. Run across and in. There we go. So you can see our resource importer isn't being super stressed, but we're also not doing a whole lot at the same time. But you can see now that our production, we have multiple cars, we have very few... We do have chassis waiting. These are every 12 minutes, and this does every 15 or so. So we could have a new fit body system set up. And you know, we just might do that. Let's add an extra fit body on here. We have the money, right? We have 1.6 million left. Let's fit body. Let's do a resource conveyor that runs like that. Do a normal conveyor that will just continue here. And you'll go onto there. Perfect. And so since these are getting backed up, they'll start to push more over to the third slot, which will increase our production throughput of bodies. So the idea here is to have nothing backed up and to have nothing empty. So you can see we had a backed up paint thing, but we do have an empty fit engine slot over here. So we'll start to increase our push through, our throughput. I don't have any cars in the showroom. So our current sale price premium is 20%. We could increase it to 25 so we should name our sedan, what should we call it? Let's call it the, um, I don't know. What's a good name for a sedan? Like, happy, uh, hi, this is a really tough one. Let's call it the Bolt EX, there we go. God, showroom, we don't have any in the showroom. The Bolt EX, 25% up. This will be our first one we sell, I think. I don't know what happened to that first red one. I might have actually demolished it in the wall. So we're gonna do their quality check. And then we sell it. I'm gonna export it and check the showroom. And eventually it'll show up in our showroom. There we go. We have one car. It has a defect. Hmm. It's valued at 16. We're selling it for 20,000. Oh, and it sold. Even with the defect, it sold. That's good to know. So here we can look at our efficiency. This is waiting for next vehicle, running, waiting for resources. It's not too bad. These are our components, these are all the features. So these are all the features that are available. Like emissions checks are common, basic car is common, and a performance check is common, and a visual inspection. We do all of those. We do all of our checks and inspections. So we're, you know, with the normal, normal pace right now. And it looks like our resources, we're getting kind of backed up on the resource importer. So what we can do is have another importer here. And they're expensive, 66K, but we're gonna run a conveyor that basically runs from here and T-bones off of here. So we'll do that. And that should help us decrease our load from the single importer, put into two importers. This will help feed everything. And I want, I think the conveyors can run both directions. Yeah, they can. You can have things run on either side of the conveyor, which is good. That's what we're gonna do. And we have a car here, it's being exported, another Bolt EX. 
It has two defects. Um, two customers have viewed it. They say it's the wrong body style. That's all right. So here's what we can do is we can make sure that our market is fine. 25%, it's a budget car. We're getting three sales an hour. We have one in the showroom. That's not too bad. I don't know what these tabs do. Name, style, price. Oh, it could be having them uh, sorted. But yeah, so that's what we're up to. We want to sell 10 cars so we can work on our research. You can see currently we're researching power production. We also research different technologies like safety features, driver assistance, etc. The first thing I want to do is try and get all of these like improved processes, improved efficiency, get our power production up. Um, we have 1.4 million. I have one car. I'm going to build a few more. I was right clicking. All oh, right, clicking demolishes things if I hold it. Got it. Um, all right, can't make steel sheets. Build a couple more research offices. We have five, just so we're making half a point per hour. Yeah, 0. 0.5 points per minute, pardon me. So, yeah, it looks like we have very few backups, and our chassis is sort of production has sort of met our demand. We're getting a little bit of backup in the paint booth. Might be worth our time. If we don't have any cars waiting, these guys are getting kind of backed up. It could be just too much of a body production. So let's, um, yeah, let's increase our paint throughput. It's 44,000, we have the money for it. There we go. We'll get our conveyor hooked up. There we go. So we'll be able to paint three cars at a time. Looks like we're going to have a little bit of a backup, but we should be good for that. Excellent. We're painting cars. I'm going to speed up time a bit. And we'll uh, sell some more cars, do some more research. Two cars in the showroom. There we go. We're selling cars, maybe faster than we're making them. Let's see. Maybe if we do sell them for 21,000. Because as we build more stuff, we increase our efficiency a little bit. We have less time waiting, which means we can sell the cars for slightly more money. There we go. Our fit engines, fit accessories doesn't have much of a backup. We're going to keep bottlenecking as we push forward. And I guess I want to improve my bottlenecks. Because right now, you can see fit painting is just about on schedule. For what we need. But all these cars are teal. Alright, so research power production. See if we can... Alright, we can now research all of these. So what we're gonna do is work on specializations. So we're gonna research bot... We're gonna queue up all of our specializations, which means eventually we can research and break down how we build our cars. So... That'll be a first thing. Then we'll start researching new technologies. And eventually we'll get into the swing of that. But right now we're going to work on our specializations. Because once we increase our specializations, we can retool how our factory works. Um, or if we research a new type of car, we can set up a new production line for the new cars. And close the production line for the old cars. There are a lot of options we can do with this. So right now we're going to just work on getting our sales numbers up and maintaining a profit if we can. So this shows currently our balance is decreasing now over the past 30 hours. Um, and our profit is minus 30K over the past hour. Is your income, all right, our expenses, mostly component purchase. Power is nearly a quarter of our expenses. So what we could do, since we've researched it, is build power plants. I think I might build power plants in here. And there should be, if we build a power plant, you can see we're doing 10% of our power production. So if we build nine more power plants at 30K a pop, I want to get up to 100% reliance on power. It's a pretty big initial investment, but it does pay off in the end. 66%. be a lot of money spent. 
like 90% power reliance. Let's do an, one more bank. 100%. There we go. So we're producing 100% of the power we use. All right. Specializations are complete for body. I'm going to want a lot of money. See, the blue things popping up are the demands for resources, and the red things are obviously the importers importing. This is pretty cool. We don't want to research another body style soon, then we'll build a second um, in design studio. So I have to research that. See, fit body can now be broken up into fit doors, roofs, and body frame, which could then be further broken up in the future. But right now, we could do this, because that's five minutes. This would really speed up our efficiency. But I think I'm gonna wait till all of this research is done. So engine and then accessories and specialization, and then we'll worry about the rest of it. So we'll keep going full speed till then. We're selling our cars pretty quickly. So I think what I'm gonna do is do a 40%. Let's see if we can, no, we want them still budget. We're at the top of the budget range, 50% markup for our cars. So it looks like right now, fitting accessories is a bit of a bottleneck. So let's, Put another fit accessories in here. Conveyor to here. And then resource conveyor. This will come off of that one only. We could have it tie into both, why not? And then we're going to go conveyor belt there. Again, it's a lot of money we're spending, but the hope is that it'll increase our throughput of automobiles. All right, we're pretty efficient right now. Looks like we're still a little behind on chassis production, but I don't mind that. All right, engine specialization, then accessories, then we'll retool our entire factory, hopefully. Um, yeah, let's just hang out for a bit. Looks like our power production isn't quite peak, so I'm gonna finish out this bank of, of um, power things. <laughs> Power plants. There it is. This has sort of like a sim tower vibe to it. I mean, obviously it's completely different, but it's the same sort of, same sort of style of game, I guess. I mean, again, it's different, but it's the same, you're working on the same things. Accessories specialization. All right, so we need new research. And I think what I want to do is research eventually all of the so we're gonna add these to queue the specializations just so we can like work on um, breaking down even further hopefully that's everything well we have to do arches and bumper specialization after that so we want to break down fully to all the base components and here you can see our throughput yellow cars are those waiting Greed cars are cars that are happy and on schedule. Woo, high octane efficiency. So we have 50% production slot efficiency over a period of 10 hours. Excellent. So we're very efficient. We have less than a million dollars. Oh, cars aren't selling, they're at eight. So let's 40% it. People, insufficient features, wrong, poor value for money. Seems to be the common there we go. Looks like we sold a couple. I think 35% will be our happy markup right now. Hopefully we sell some. A couple of defects. Let's not get enough customers to sell them all. All right. We seem to be selling faster than we're making, I hope. Maybe not. Customers an hour at eight, produce an hour at six, sales an hour at two. So we're producing too many, or too efficient for our market share. If we look at the market, perceived quality is 31%. We should probably do some reworks. All right, we're gonna, because our perceived quality is so low, we're gonna do, go back to 25% and hope that like customers start pulling cars off the showroom floor. 
Once that number gets reduced, the 11 cars in the showroom gets reduced. 10, yeah, we'll start to go back to a 25% markup, I think. But that's what we're up to now. Look at this factory working so efficiently. Seven, yeah, let's go up 25 or 30% markup. It's cool to watch these cards get put together, but soon we'll have, we'll retool the entire factory. Yeah, so we're making money. This is day one, or it's day zero still. I haven't even finished a full day. So we're doing all right. Seven cars in showroom, six. There we go, that's fine. I don't mind having cars in showroom. Seven. All right. Um, let's take a look at our research. So I'm going to eventually want to be able to research new body types. And I wonder if that's going to be under technologies. Mm -mm. Let's see. See, we'll probably want to get some features in once we get all this stuff researched. But let's let's worry about that in a bit. We'll keep doing research. We'll get all the specializations unlocked, make some money off of this basic factory. And then at that point, we'll create a new high efficiency factory and then demolish this one. So my high efficiency factory and high efficiency production line. We'll start here and we'll go bloop, bloop, and we'll sort of loop around or go out this way and around. Probably what we'll end up doing. Six cars in showroom, let's do 35%. Let's see what people say about that. Actually, let's queue up some more research. Arches spec. And once Arches spec is done, then we'll focus on new things. But right now, we're just going to worry about um, our current production efficiency before we worry about quality of cars. So rival companies are researching. We could, if we take a look at the markets, we could look at components or the features that are being more common. It's like in-car music is rare in luxury and expensive cars and keyless entry is rare in luxury cars. So they'll research stuff as you go. And it will decrease our competitiveness in those markets. Right now we're definitely competing in the budget market. We're gonna make basic cars. You know, this is our basic four-door sedan. This is the EX, the Bolt EX. All that is just bolted together. It's fairly efficient. You know, it could be more efficient. We're looking at, what's this, 62%, 75% efficiency. It's not too bad. We'll call that good. All right, back to waiting for research. I don't want to get too many more marketing uh, things. It would increase research fast, but also cost us money. So it looks like we have five, let's go back to 40% for our budget cars. And here you can see the breakdown of the basic car. The value is 15,900. Then the emissions check, performance check, and visual check all increase the value of the car. And these are the paint colors we can have in, aquatic blue, like charcoal black, peach, purple, prose, etc. These are the ones we have locked because they're locked by achievements. So we sell our cars in very bright colors, unlike modern car makers. Ooh, rival companies are research sunroof. Maybe we'll do stuff like that. But right now we're producing cheap, affordable budget cars. One car with a defect. That's not too bad. All right, we're seeing some poor value for money, people. So we'll go back to 35, because that seemed to be a pretty happy place if people were buying cars. 5% say poor value for money. See if that goes up. Nope, looks like 35 is where we go. All right, more companies have researched sunroof. That's not great, but it is what it is. We'll make do with it. Yeah. Producing sedans. Our factory is running very efficiently. What I could do is start building, let's take a look. Where are we? We're doing high pressure paint nozzles. Then we'll do polished paint work. And then we'll do steering, wheels, dash, bumper, and arches, I believe. Yeah. 
and it'll take a while to get through the high pressure. So what we can do is start working on our export. Export takes four minutes, and that's like kind of the, what you want your cars to take. You want everything to get down to a four minute efficiency. And I could just slowly upgrade this a bit at a time. That's not a terrible idea. Um, I could start by redoing my chassis assembly. So for example, I could do chassis assembly to all of these. So fit, fit the front axle, rear axle, drive shaft, undercarriage, fuel tank. I could just do all that here. And that would take, front axle takes two minutes, 30, 215, 158. So give me like, if I do a two minute, if I go for two minutes, I could get all of them done. Produce a car out of here every two minutes, about. So I might, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll start producing chassis every two minutes. I can just upgrade this line. Why not? Yeah, so let's wait till this car is finished. Then we'll demolish our chassis production. And then once our chassis production is demolished, we'll start working on a new thing. MSJ, and you're back. How's it going? So we're gonna do this. Actually, let's let's pause real quick. You saw me play a, this game when you were a stalker or something similar. Awesome. Yeah, I really like this game. Fuel tank is four minutes. We have two fit fuel tanks on here. This game is a whole heck of a lot of fun. And right now what I'm going to do is redo this whole thing. A big conveyor that comes in like that. I'm going to fit a couple of fit fuel tanks in here. There we go. So we're going to fit our two fuel tanks. So that'll be four minutes. Then we have fit undercarriage. We'll sit. Here, I think. No, we're just gonna do it here. It'll be pretty straightforward. We're gonna fit the drive shaft here. We're gonna fit the rear axle here. And the front axle there. All right, now we're just gonna run straight conveyors down. We're going to run our is it demolish tool. We're gonna run our resource conveyor. We're gonna have a single resource importer for this entire section. You'll notice that that's all fine. But we're gonna run one importer from here. I'm gonna run a conveyor. If I could do it straight down, that would be nice. I don't want that actually. Resource conveyor from here. I'm gonna do that. And then that. And then run this. Like that, and then run this one. Like that. Perfect. And now if we unpause. This should eventually increase our production efficiency. So we should get all the resources stacked up. It'll be fine. Excellent. So all of the chassis manufacturing comes from a single resource importer. As you can see, it's much quicker. So here we produce a single axle on. And then this axle, you add a second axle here. And this whole axle thing the drive shaft ends up on it, and then it undercarriage gets thrown on it, and then they fit fuel tanks, and then these get put into the body fitting section. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna end up backing this up. So we should do the body fitting. Let's see where are we on body fitting. We haven't done bumper and arch specialization, so we'll wait on body fitting until that's done, and then we'll increase efficiency of that. So right now we're gonna get really backed up here. You can see these 
it's five minutes compared to 15 minute efficiencies on these fit bodies. So we could go to the end and I think our electronic specialization is basically done. Or accessories. We still have to do the dashboard. So we finished just the chassis specialization. So, you know, we'll get through this. We'll get panning in at some point. You can see it takes up more space, but it runs significantly more efficiently. We have this spaced out so we can expand in the future if need be. Well, I should have this back one more. That's okay. Power steering has been researched. So there are things we should start considering researching. So it looks like we have two cars in our showroom. We should increase our premium a bit. Looks like our perceived quality has gone up quite a bit. So we're producing as much per hour as we're selling. You can see there's all these, we can, there's SUVs, sports cars, pickups, compacts, off-roads, and there's budget, mid-range, expensive, and luxury. We're just selling budget cars. So that's what we do. Reminds you of the TV shows where they show the building process of something. Yes, it's like a how it's made. If we scroll out, we can see these guys are all waiting on throughput. So we're going to wait for our research to get going, and then we'll redo how we do bodies. And we're actually up to one and a half million dollars, so we're making a lot of money through this. We're still making bank, but we need to be making a little more. And actually, what I want to do is demolish this importer. So we're going to use um, resource import. We're going to use the bottom one since we're going that direction. There we go. Should work. Game's been auto saved. Hooray! Instead of the middle importer, we'll do the fit body stuff once that's all researched. Almost got the high pressure paint nozzle done. And this this paint research will take a little longer. We're doing polished paint work, which will take quite a while. I think longer than that, and then the rest should be pretty straightforward after that. So steering, wheels, dashboard, bumper, arches, and then we're done with this research. We can start researching actual components to add to our cars. So, yeah. See how much time this thing spends waiting for next vehicle, which is quite a lot. Because every time it's not running, it's waiting for next vehicle. Their throughput isn't quite fast enough on the accessories fitting, but that'll be done soon. We'll get there. I want to get the uh, fit body done. So we're basically going to take this and we're going to loop this around to here and then cut it in. We're gonna have these, the fit body fitting gonna run sort of this direction across here, which will be fun. I'm eventually gonna get rid of this piece once I have the research ready, because we'll have enough, we'll run through the chassis first, so we don't just like demolish a bunch of chassis. Here's all the uh, efficiency awareness, full throttle revenue. These are all the bunch of columns we have. Revenue overdrive, uh, achievements, that's the one. I've been following this game for a while and it's still an alpha, but it is a really well put together game. Still 100% power usage. We're making a good chunk of money over the past 30 hours. See, that's when we expanded, that's us growing up. Making about uh, 135k an hour of those. Last hour we're spending 43,000 on component purchase. So producing our own components would be nice. We can see there's no power here. It's pretty good. We have no loans, we don't need loans. We may want to do some rapid expansion. Right now the Bolt EX is bringing in enough money. That we're doing fine. So this is our Bolt EX production line. Yeah, we're gonna keep speeding up till we've done all the research. And then we'll focus on expanding our body production, increasing the efficiency of our production. And it's fun. This game's a lot of fun. It is definitely a puzzle game, but also like a efficiency management game, which is right up my alley. Definitely something I enjoy doing. Um, it 
it doesn't really fit the like paradox publish games theme i've been going on for a while but i like it uh, let's see a new loan is available from the bank hooray i really don't care that much so i'm gonna build my factory out more snaking along here because there'll be a lot more component pieces i need to make sure it's like wide enough for that but if i'm going for currently what's basically a two minute 30 is my bottleneck I think it'll be pretty. These are two minutes total. This is two minute 09, 158, 215, and then 230 is my bottleneck because of the front axle it takes that much time. So it's front wheel drive, I assume. Maybe it's not. Let's see if there's a. Looks like the axles are identical. Yeah, I can't tell. See the various, I like you can watch them put the body on. Like there's the shell, there goes the trunk, there's the bumpers, goes all the trim, the fenders, eventually they'll put the doors on, windows, and boom, off it goes to paint. Then they get painted and dried. Then they get all the parts put in, the wheels and brakes and their engines and radiators. Then they get the accessories put on, like the seats and stuff, and then they get their electronics, and then they're off. Finding the most efficient way to do things is fun. It's really fun in this game, because it's definitely, like, that's the that's the game element. We have 13, too many cars in showrooms, so I'm dropping our, our price. Insufficient features. Yeah, we're gonna have to start researching new features. So once all of this research is done, I think we're going to research, I like power steering, that's what I want. Let's see where power steering is. Power steering adjustment, spoilers, no. Here it is, driver assistance will add to queue. And eventually other things. So we get our drivers some help. There's no power steering right now, it's just a base car. So I guess my selling point needs to be that I'm cheap. So 35% markup I think is pretty good. Still poor value for money. But they're selling, so I think I'll be okay with that. 44 customers, 49 customers have viewed this car and none of them have bought it. It's too bad. Oh. A lot of people viewing a lot of cars. Yeah, it looks like the changing the price really helped. We're almost done with this really long research job. The next ones will be pretty short. Heaters are pretty common in cars now. That's terrifying. I don't have heaters. Back to 40%. Let our stock rebuild since we have you know five cars. Our perceived quality is still pretty meh. I don't know how to increase that. Probably break down the quality check. Let's take a look at research. If there's like a quality research uh, body design. Administration, that's what I want. We'll do that later. Enhanced in expect inspection and QA specialization. That's what I want next. So we'll do administration, add to queue, and then QA specialization and body design. And that should give us... If your stream is unhappy, why is your stream unhappy? Hope they don't return the car as often as they did Picture Perfect. <laughs> right. Picture Perfect was a very unhappy uh, thing of magic. Good, as long as refreshing helped it. We had a little, a little blip and drop frames, but nothing too bad. All right. Yeah, um, I was really enjoying Software Inc. And I might go back to that, because it's a fun game. Windscreen, automatic windscreen wipers are becoming more common. I should probably actually research features to give my cars a competitive advantage. We're like out of cars in the showroom. But they have defects. Brand awareness is zero. So we don't have any marketing, which is too bad. But our competitiveness of a car mark is 16%. Um, so it's not super competitive. 
But people are all, people are paying attention to us. You know. 40%. I think 40% is right where our happy place is. You know, selling cars pretty quickly. Alright. I think I'm going to get rid of that. And we're going to re sort of undo our chassis backup. Steering specialization. We have wheels, bumpers, arches, and then we'll redo our fit body. And I'm going to start getting rid of unneeded conveyor belts. I think I might be doing this a little too quickly. Yeah, uh, let's let's keep it up just a little longer. Just in case, you know. So what am I at? A two minute, two minute thirty is my current bottleneck speed, which is the beginning, which is good. Let's see what happens. So we're still trying to finish our research. We're doing tire specialization, or wheel specialization. And then we're going to do our um, bumper and arches, and then we'll redo our entire assembly line at that point. So we'll get there. I realize this isn't a very efficient setup right now, but you know we'll move it in the future. Sort of feature. Looks like, yeah, I'll keep it 40% because we're building stock, but we're still selling. We made a lot of money selling cars. Like, we've already made a million dollars. These will take. Da oh, I have dashboard. I forgot about that. It'll just take some time. I'll stop looking at the research screen. Just let it happen. This should be doing well. like we're a little bottlenecked in resources, but not too bad. I'm not getting insufficient resources tabs too much. Tabs, pop-ups. We're really powering through these cars though. You can see our bottleneck here is fit body, and I don't want to put another one in there until the time comes. I'll just wait for wait for the research to be Yeah, we're stocking up. Go back to 35. So it's like 40% is good for stockpiling, 35 is good for Selling our inventory off. There's no real happy ground. Man, people are researching all sorts researching all sorts of stuff. That's not what I want. I want to look at this. I don't want to look at market. I want to look at the components tab. And the features. Luckily none of these features are common on budget cars. Yeah, budget cars are usually pretty basic and that's what we're selling right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's keep researching. Hooray! Except the money, I could hire more. Ah, I like the research pace we're on. I don't want to overdo it. All right, we're getting there. So we're researching. We have the paint booths up. So we're gonna redo our fit body to be a two-minute bottleneck two minute efficiency and then we're going to eventually redo paint once fit body's done again down to two minutes if possible we may have to have a huge like this may be all paint in here and then we'll redo fit engine and we'll redo fit accessories and then redo fit a lock electronics we'll go front to back there we go fit cabin and consoles in did I name my car anything yes my car is named the that's not it my car is named the bolt ex EX model being the budget model. They take a lot from like Japanese car manufacturers. Bolt being, I know it's already a car named a Bolt, but it's the first half decent name I could think of. I know it's not a good name, but you know, it's better than like, I don't know, Kazba EX. I'm in a bit of a paint bottleneck here. I guess it. This sort of happened over time. I don't know why I slowed it down. I need to keep getting the research going. I'm just worried that I'm going to start lagging behind my competitors. 
Why did it increase the percentage? Because we're out of cars in the showroom. Huh. Selling them as fast as we can make them. The car market's getting a lot more competitive. I guess that our, our total market share has started to come down. The total market share of sedans is 12%. Perceived quality's gone up, so I guess that's increased our sales numbers. As the market gets more competitive, at least we have some wiggle room in terms of pricing. Plus we're about to increase our efficiency, which will decrease our needed pricing. The snaggy bolt, yes, that's what it's called, the snaggy bolt. Snaggy bolt EX. It's exciting. Look at all these cars waiting here. Looks like where'd they disappear there? I was like, why is nothing there? But if I zoom out, they're there. So that's what's important. 51% through bumper, and then we'll do arches. And then once we start arches, I guess we'll just let arches run. We need to put power steering and stuff in our cars. See if we can get more of a car market going. But yeah, it's just real easy laid back production line. We're gonna make this super efficient. He said two minute, two and a half minute efficiency. That'll be our bottleneck, anything at two and a half minutes. Electric windows have been researched, dang. It's no bueno. Um, I'm gonna run real quick. I'll be right back. I'm gonna leave this running. I'm just gonna mute my mic, but I will be back in like a minute and a half. I'm back. I feel like that was less. A tree pun and something to do with cars. We call it the limb. Alright, here's what I'm gonna do is now that this is here, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna clear this out because the research is almost done for us to redo our fit body section. So that's what I'm about to do. That's what I'ma do. Here we go. We should have enough cars to sell to keep us going until Fit Body is put together. Let's go back to 40%. Sales price 18,000 is 40%. Market value seems to have dropped significantly on the car, which is too bad. I wonder if market value includes our production cost. I don't know. No good, the market value's dropped a lot means that our production cost has gone down, I think. This research, I may have jumped the gun a bit on this, but I think we'll be okay to sort of close this all out as we go. So like sell this off. This will be fine. You'll get demolished. You'll get let go, you'll get taken off, you'll get let go. Let's 
So our research for Archer's specialization, we're almost there. Hopefully we'll have a backup at export. Well, eventually gonna research increased export speed. Oh man, people are not buying our cars. 30%, poor value for money. Try 30% markups, see if you like that. There's 17 stacked up in the, whatchamacallit, we're gonna have to sell them off. Here we go, now we're just gonna demolish all this. Get rid of all this extra stuff we don't need. And then we're gonna work on our fit body stuff. Let's wait till the research is done and then we'll pause it and then do some building. And right now we're just going to uh, have some fun. 18 cars, 17 cars in the showroom, so we're selling. Poor value for money, 1% say. Yeah, it looks like poor value for money seems to be a consistent critique, but 30% is as low as I want to go. I could probably move this, shift this whole thing over to the right more. But I don't want to waste all of this stuff we have here. Almost there. Arches specialization. We also redo our paint booth, so I'm gonna... I have the three million, so Arches specialization happens. We're gonna slow it down, we're gonna pause, and we're going to build our fit body. So we fit the chassis, now we're gonna fit the body on here. Make sure these are all set up to be correct. Trunk, bumpers, and arches. So we're gonna fit the body shell as three minutes. And that'll go here. Oh, what if I wanna double it up? I kinda wanna, it's okay. We'll just do it like this. We could have a couple of these. Oh, it's fine, we'll do this. Body shell, hood is two minutes, perfect. Trunk is a two minute, 15 second job, so it'll be perfect for that. Actually, I do wanna move them up, just so I have room. Do the double, so fit hood, fit trunk, two, fit front bumper, rear bumper, fit bottom trim, we'll just reverse this like that. Fit the front arch. Fit the rear arch. Oh, I don't have enough room to do it the way I want to do it. That's fine. Here's what we're going to do. Is we're going to... This only reimburses half of the money. Which is frustrating, because I... We're going to just waste all this money doing this. So we're going to start with the fit... The body shell, which takes three minutes. This is gonna be our new bottleneck. And it's gonna go here. Or it's gonna go at the end, I think. So we want it to be one up from here, two up. Put it, oh God, put it right here, why not? And now that the body, we're gonna fit the hood on here. And then fit the trunk here, and the front bumper, rear bumper, front arch. I don't know why I can't place that there. Rear arch. I wanna get rid of that conveyor. All right, sorry, this is just a lot of Front arch, right? Yeah. Rear arch. 
and then vent. It's not super efficient. And then roof. Ah, fuck, I don't have room for it. Well, all that money I spent, we're gonna do it again. One more time. Let's just delete everything once again. We'll start with the body shell. And then we'll fit the hood. We're gonna make it as compact as possible. And then after the hood, we're gonna fit the trunk. Gonna fit the trunk here. And then we're gonna fit the front bumper. And we're gonna fit the rear bumper. And we're gonna fit the bottom trim. And then we're gonna fit the front arch. And then we're gonna fit the rear arch. And we're gonna fit the vent here. And we're gonna put the roof on over here. And then we're gonna fit the door panels. We're gonna just fit them right there, how's that? We're gonna fit the windows here, and the wing mirrors here, and we're gonna run this conveyor all the way around. First thing we're gonna do is do this. Conveyor it all up, and then we're gonna redo our paint booth. We're going to have a, can, we'll do paint next. So we're gonna have a resource importer here for a lot of this. And a resource conveyor that's gonna run pretty much like this. And then basically parallel that. And then we'll eventually also run anything over here. All right, so I guess we can start working on this then. So these will start moving. They should fit all of the things. And I'm gonna start selling the paint booth. I guess we have plenty of money. It'll be fun. All right, you may wonder why I demolish everything. It's cause I'm gonna fix everything. You want to get down to, I believe we're at a three minute bottleneck right here. That's two minutes right here. That's a three minute bottleneck. I'll make that more efficient later. But now we're going to put in a paint system. So paint, the undercoat is three minutes 57. And you know what? That's fine that it's going to be 357. Because it won't be the most efficient. Trying takes 12 minutes. So we want three drying places. Paint finish takes 415, so we're going to have two finishing stations. We're gonna have our dry finishing stations, which will again be three of them. They have our time be better, and then we're going to polish, which takes three minutes thirty. That will be fine. We're eventually gonna fit the engine, so here we go. We're going to. This is actually going to be a little painful to watch as I pretty much demolish everything. I'm going to pause for this because I realized I'm kind of retooling my entire factory. <laughs> Let's just retool the whole thing. Why not? We'll fit the engine and accessories in a minute. 
I want to just demolish the conveyor. Oh well. That's fine. This resource, the paint will be provided by its own resource conveyor. These guys will supply also. The paint will be from this one. We still have plenty of money left. This guy will go here and then up and then over. Oh, we need conveyor belts for this too. We'll do that. And then you'll go back down and collect. Whoops, there and there. And you'll go in and back up. Then you'll go back down and collect. And then go back up and... This may seem convoluted, but it's actually necessary. Then you'll polish the paintwork. And we should have paint service done. All right, so now that we've polished paintwork, we need to fit our engine. Whoops, that's not the button I wanted at all. I'm going to open all these, make sure there's nothing. Fit tires, fit wheels, fit brakes. So we're gonna fit the powertrain, which is 245. I can deal with that speed. We're gonna have this start over here, pretty much. Fit powertrain, radiator's 312, that's fine, we'll just have one. Exhaust is three minutes, that's fine. Brakes is two, some. Wheels is two, tires is 230. Steering column's 218. Steering wheel's five, so we're gonna have a, we're gonna have a pair of steering wheel fittings. Conveyor. Cebu play to there and then there and then like that. And then we're gonna fit the accessories. Make sure these are all lights, three minutes. Yeah, this will be how this works. Lights, horn is 330, which is our original bottleneck. Seats is three. Windscreen is four, so we'll have um, two windscreens. Put one there and have another windscreen he here, and I'll have a collector, and then we'll fit the dashboard, which should take no time at all. Um, yeah. Whoops, actually. We're gonna fit the cabin, and then controls which doesn't look like it's a finished texture. And the electronics is gonna stay right where it is. It takes two minutes. I'm gonna run this conveyor like that. And this is gonna run up, around, and straight into there. And this resource conveyor gonna do this, attach that to there, and then this is all going to be attached here. And I think everything is resources, and I think everything's connected. So we should be able to, theoretically, build an entire car. Much more efficiently than we have been. Preparing for quote one. Uh, actually, I think this is correct. We'll see what happens. If we zoom out, we'll get the details. There are a couple bottlenecks in the engine production sequence. Yeah, it looks like putting the roof is taking. Fit roof takes four minutes 30. Oh, I forgot to do a second fit roof.
Driver assistance, fit doors, takes. Alright, we need a second fit roofs thing. Oh, wow. Yep, nope. This is awful. I need two fit roofs in here. So let's get through, you know, get all these things done. Um, let's go fit roofs. So what does this fit? Wing mirrors? So windows, we'll go all the way up to wing mirrors. Windows and wing mirrors. So let's go... Fit body, fit doors. Fit door panels here. Fit windows. And then wing mirrors will wing in there, conveyor. Not all I wanted to do that, but it works. No route to stockpile. Just kidding. All right. So we should theoretically have a system that works. Right, Lucky is near the end of line enough to move too many things. Usually I leave space, but I'm pretty confident in my uh. My abilities. Um, this importer needs help, so what I'm going to do is cross-connect these two, which will distribute the load a little better. And in fact, I think they should all be cross-connected. I don't need to save. Sorry, it's the wrong button. They should all be cross-connected, which is super helpful. So they just need so many resources. We're not seeing any insufficient resources. All right. So our sales price is now 17K. Polished paintwork is included. Availability very rare. Hmm. They're 35%. Poor value for money still seems to be the common theme. So we'll go 25% and we'll start. We'll do some research. Do QA spec, body design. And then I want to work on like cruise control. Does cruise control is something that will give us a competitive edge? All right, looks like we're waiting on dry finish. But only because it's not sending cars very intelligently. Dry finish seems to be a minor bottleneck right now, but that's okay. Look at that, that's really pretty to see all of the... High pressure paint nozzles, increases speed. So it'll increase our speed on painting. Upgrade all slots. There we go. So we increased our painting speed a little bit. No defects yet. Awesome. It also increased our power consumption. We're still at 100% power utilization, which is good. Yeah, so we have a fairly efficient line here. We have everything broken down into its basic component parts. We still have cars in 20%, I think it will get us. We cannot sell cars for the life of us. So okay. We're fairly efficient. I don't think we're 100% efficient, but we're doing all right. 53% efficient. Waiting for next slot percentage is going up pretty high, which isn't good. But it means that we have cars constantly being worked on. 
You can see we're backed up in the dry undercoat and the dry finish. We need faster drying and turbo drying and max. We need to increase our drying speed right now. So let's go to our technologies. Work on our processes. Q um, improved efficiency. So this is our bolt EX. I can make this more efficient too. I could tighten up the production line a bit. But it seems to be doing okay. It's not super efficient, but it's doing all right. Um, one thing we want to do is increase regular administration's nice. We'll get our QA specialization up next, which will help speed up our QA process. Upgrades, I don't have any upgrades to do. Like we have the high power paint nozzles. Like all these primed cars. Increase our drying speed. Looks like 20-25% is our happy place. Fourteen thousand market value now. Polished paintwork is included in that. I wonder if I could. Oh, now I'm including polished paintwork. There we go. I realized I hadn't been including the polished paintwork. So we're gonna polish up our paintwork now. These ones don't have polished paintwork, that's fine. We have defects though, which is not good. 30% for our polished paintwork. No defects in that car, that's good. If we slow it down, we can try and find cars with defects. None. You're worth 14,000. You, on the other hand, are worth 15,000 some because you have polished paintwork. We have to sell uh, these bad boys for a little bit less, I think, until we have the polished paintwork guys in there. So we'll keep it at 25% for now. Oh, I guess they're still selling for 17,000 because I don't have the polished paintwork in yet. Let's get some of those. Yeah, let's do 30. 30% seems to be a happy place at this point. Our market share is 20%. Competitiveness has increased for our perceived quality. Oh, it's back to 45%. That's not great. But we're selling more than we're producing per hour, so we're, need to, we're a little behind in that regard. Fitting electronics seems to be bottlenecking a little bit, but that's okay. We're getting a lot of cars, we're getting a lot of throughput now, much faster than we had last time. Look at all these cars backed up. It's cool so you got the Bolt EX on here. Eight cars in the showroom. Polished paintwork is making them real expensive. Sale price 22,000, 22,204, it's all right. Availability very rare, so it'll increase our competitiveness. We need to research, QA specialization is increasing, so we'll get our quality check station a little more laid out. You probably move Fit Electronics to over here, but we'll see. We'll just move this out and have our quality check sort of laid out along this section. But yeah, um, I think for now that's gonna be it for me. It is getting late in the day. I've been streaming for a few hours, but I really appreciate everyone who stopped by for today's streams for uh, MechWarrior Online previously. Um, and then some, uh, what did I play before that? Someone remembers, I was there. We were all there. But yeah, thank you for stopping by while we were here streaming. 
I really appreciate the people who come by. I appreciate your support. I'm going to slow down. Oh, I paused it. But yeah, let me just quickly wrap up. There's all the important links. House Flipper, that was it. Yeah, I remember. I have really good memory for that. But yeah, so if you would like to follow, subscribe on YouTube, that'd be good. Join the Discord to hang out and chat with me. Follow me on Twitter for updates. Um, and I'm trying to reach a $50 a month Patreon goal, and I'm currently at 20 so if you want to support me and like what I do, uh, the best way to do that is on Patreon. Even a dollar a month donation makes a difference, so I really appreciate all of your help and all of your support in making this something I can do sustainably, because um, there is a financial cost to this, you know, in terms of, like, games I play and time I take. So getting that set up to a point where I can then support myself financially through this means I'll have more time to stream. So that'd be awesome. But uh, it's good to see all you guys. Hopefully you have a wonderful night or morning and I will see you next stream on Wednesday. So take care. Have a good night.